Hey everyone, Lauren Alvin with Adipup Dog and Puppy Training. I wanted to do another video on counter conditioning. So last time we were working with Nina and her nemesis, the Facebook alert noise, uh, which makes her feel very stressed and uncomfortable and afraid. But we don't always have to counter condition something that makes the dog feel stressed uh, or scared. It can also work with something the dog feels overly aroused about, uh, overexcited, just overstimulated somehow. Neurochemically, being super duper lose your mind excited is pretty much identical. It's very similar to being scared. So we're using the same mechanisms here. Instead of the stimulus equals freak out, whether that freak out is, oh boy, I want to chase it, or oh boy, I want to, you know, murder it, or eat it, or bark at it, or whatever it is, we change that from that thing equals chicken. And chicken means prefrontal cortex, decision making, calm feelings, happy feelings, and uh, incompatible behaviors, which will usually for Nina be looking at me going, where's my chicken? <laughs> and looking at me and asking for chicken is the opposite of trying to throw herself into the pond, which is what we're going to do. So Nina is, if you've ever, you know anything about Nina, it's that she's obsessed with swimming. And that goes with pretty much every body of water, including the beautiful pond at City Park. So dogs are allowed in the outer ring of this. She's not allowed, you know, where the sculpture is or anything up by the museum anyway. But I would like to be able to go on the entire circuit all the way around, but I can only do two, you know, a half of that. You don't get the whole thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> I get, Sorry. I can only do a half of that because the other two sides of it are bordered by water which means she's going, oh, water, water, water the whole time because she wants to go swimming in it. So we're going to counter condition that a bit. We're hanging out here. She is well below threshold. She probably knows the water's there because she's been here, you know, many times before, um, but she's not pulling towards it. She's quite relaxed if you want to take a look at her. She was rolling around in the grass. She's easily, give me those, respond to cue, sit, high five. Pretty easy right here. Uh, so we're going to start moving up. I don't want her to freak out. My goal is for her, just like with feeling afraid, to stay right below threshold. So I'm going to watch her body language and I'm going to watch her ears <laughs> and her mouth and her eyes and her wrinkly forehead and all the things that I know change when she starts getting close to that threshold and when she starts getting aroused. And when I see that she's there, I'm going to go pond equals chicken, pond equals chicken. When that goes well, she starts going, oh, there's a pond, oh, there's chicken. Look at the pond, look at mom. Then I gotta move closer. And we're gonna see, oh, the ducks. We're gonna see how close we can get. Uh, but I have to keep in mind a couple things here. Intensity of the stimulus, which includes the ducks. Uh, if there was a fountain or a waterfall or rushing water or the sound of that, that would be more intense for her because she likes it. Uh, duration, which is like how much she's staring at it, how close, I'm sorry, how long we're gonna be standing near it. Um, if this were something like the noise, then it would be the length of time that that noise is playing. But the pond is pretty much static, so <laughs> it's going to be how long I go before, between chicken payments. And then, uh, what I say? Duration. Oh, distance, which is pretty obvious how close I'm getting to, which is correlated to the intensity of the stimulus. So keep your eye on Nina. Uh, keep your eye on me giving chicken to Nina as well. Get that. I am. Good. I've been yeah. getting it. <laughs> as if anyone watches me when Nina's doing that. Um, and I'll just narrate what we're doing. So we're going to see how close we can get. We've been able to get not quite on the sidewalk right next to it because water is really, really intense for Nina. Uh, but we're going to see what we can do. And my goal is for her to succeed. I do not want her to have a big dramatic display for the sake of the video. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a real behavior change. All right, so we're gonna start walking towards it and uh, I'm gonna hide my chicken. Chicken only happens in response to the pond. Look at you all tangled up, thank you. Let me bring this in. I wanna make sure I can reach your snout with chicken, so I'm gonna shorten up the leash. But I am gonna keep it nice and loose. Okay. I think she's just exploring her environment. Yeah, did you see the pond? Is that what that was? Now you see she's looking at me. She'll look back at the pond, chicken. 
she's not focused on it too much, so that tells me that she's looking at the kids. There we go. That tells me that we're below threshold. I think we can go a little bit further. Oh, there's an S Q U I R R E L. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm sure that'll happen if we get closer. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll be right over threshold. <laughs> She's just looking at me and going, what do you want me to do, Mom? Tells me she's below threshold. <laughs> if she was having a harder time with this, if she weren't offering lots of attention and whatnot, and we weren't able to move up this quickly, then I would probably be running away a bit. <laughs> so it would be a way for her to let off her steam. We'd go, you know, a couple feet forward and she'd be able to get some pond equals chicken. And then she's all amped up because we're near the pond, which means we would do nose target, let's go over here, let's let off some steam and let's try it again. But she's doing pretty well. No. Oh, there's barky dogs. She hasn't been allowed to swim in yet. Forever. Because that is not a dog pond, it's a duck pond. Good girl. So I want to see, yep, if she'll look back at me on her own. I just want to do an experiment every once in a while to see if she's created that association. Move up again. Yeah. Good girl. She's just getting a little smush at a time, like maybe that much, tiny bit. Yeah. Not as tiny as training treats, so I don't want to be stingy, <laughs> but not too much. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go across. So the fact that she can do that tells me 
that her thinking brain is engaged. She's able to make decisions. And she's figured out that, oh, making this decision gets me good stuff, but also the very ability that she can make that decision tells me that her brain is changing. She's doing really good. I know. Another thing I would watch for is what they call hard mouth. If she started really chomping the treats out of my hand, and that tells me that she's getting stressed and aroused too. Yeah, I know what that feels like. <laughs> <laughs> I mostly throw treats for a living now. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> She's got it again. She's got that sparkle in her eye. Let's get closer. Nice. I don't always want to hold off for her to look back at me. This isn't about teaching her to look at me when she sees the pond. Although it's, you know, sort of a side effect of that. This is about making sure that her brain is changing the way it responds. And I can tell that her brain is changing again because she's able to do that. Yeah, because the pond is right there. Yes. We are not far. Good girl. Oh, oh my. I'm not going to go much farther than this. Okay. Oh, okay? This is good so, though. Pond used to be better. Good girl. So we've increased the intensity a bit because there's a family walking by. Ooh. She likes kids because <laughs> they pet her. <laughs> yeah, good job. Let's take another step. Good girl. So my phone ran out of space, <laughs> which means we had to cut it. I backed up because I didn't want to leave her on the threshold for duration there. Uh, and we're going to start going forward again. You'll notice there's a dog now, which can also increase the intensity if she doesn't want it to see. Yeah. yeah, okay. So we're going to start creeping up. My goal is to get to the sidewalk, but my goal is meaningless because it's about what she succeeds with. So, she's not reactive to dogs. The dogs get a little excited, but combined with the excitement of the ponds, I want a camera conditioner. All right, miss. That's Have nice too. Break? Break. Exploring her environment will let off steam. <laughs> <laughs> 